Hey guys, Rob Had here, and we're back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be doing an in-depth view of the Dead Eye system in Red Dead Redemption 2. So I have actually made a video on this topic before, but it has not actually been as detailed as I would like it to. And also there are a few minor details that I did not like. So I'm kind of making a part two with extra information and just a lot better quality. So the Dead Eye system in Red Dead Redemption. Now how you can actually use it. Now to use the Dead Eye system in Red Dead Redemption, all you have to do is press the two analog sticks down on your controller. Then what you want to do is aim at a target, whether it is an animal or a human. Then you want to hover over that target and press R1 if you are on PS4 or RB if you are on Xbox. So this will actually put a cross on the target so this means that it is actually ready to be shot. So it's just marking it to be shot like I just said. Now you can actually lock onto as many targets as you like whether they're animals or humans. The only thing that's setting you back from this is your ammunition in your gun. So you actually have to have the ammunition in your gun to actually be able to shoot a lot of targets. To shoot multiple targets, once you've actually looked at your first target and you have marked it, all you're going to want to do is actually look at a different target, and then all you want to do is press R1 if you're on PS4 and RB if you're on Xbox. It's as simple as that, and like I said, you can lock onto as many as you like, as long as you have the ammunition in your gun. Now, how do you refill the Dead Eye system? Now you can refill the Deadeye system by killing people gradually, now this isn't a very effective way of doing it because it is very slow, so the more people you kill the more that it will replenish. You can also chew tobacco or miracle tonic in your weapon wheel under items, now this will actually fill the whole meter. Now if you do not actually own this it can be found at any general store or local doctor in a town nearby you. You can also drink gin and fine brandy and smoke cigarettes. They are the ways to refill the Dead Eye system. Now just quickly if you would like to know how much Dead Eye system you actually have left, all you're going to want to do is look at the little eye icon on the bottom left hand side just above the map. It is an eye icon. Now that indicates of how much Dead Eye system you actually have left. Now if you want to upgrade the core meter, now this is the little symbol I was literally just talking about. If you want to upgrade that so it can actually hold more, all you have to do is doing simple tasks like cooking a meal, crafting an item, scoring a free aim kill, completing camp chores, skinning an animal and landing headshots for over 50 meters. So they're a very simple task just to upgrade the core meter. Now if you want to actually upgrade the dead eye system itself, you can do these challenges. Now these challenges are called the Grambler Challenges and the Bandit Challenges. Now the Grambler Challenges consist of double down and win a hand of blackjack five times. It also consists of in each poker location, make an opponent go bust. In dominoes, win three rounds against two fewer opponents without drawing any tiles. While playing blackjack, beat the dealer in both Van Horn and Rhodes. Using three hits or more, win three hands of blackjack. You have to win three games in Donomos, one after the other. So they are the Grambler challenges of actually upgrading the Dead Eye system. Now the Bandit challenges consist of can complete two coach robbery missions, or you can actually rob two coaches on the road. You can also upgrade it by actually getting your bounty up to $250 in any state. Also you can rob three coaches in a single day, sell seven wagons that you have stolen from Emerald Ranch Fence, steal and sell five horses to the Clemens Cove Horse Fence, lastly capture and hostage someone and leave them on the railway tracks three times. So there are all the different ways of actually upgrading the actual Deadeye system itself so you can actually get more out of it. Now if you want to unlock the Dead Eye special abilities, all you want to do is actually keep playing story mode missions and as you keep playing it will gradually upgrade your special abilities. It's as simple as that, it's not very complicated at all. Now down in the description down below will be all the information that I have just read out in this video. So if you do not understand all the things I said, check down in the description down below and also you can check out the source for some of this script I have made. That is linked down below as well. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on to be notified when I do actually upload new videos. Now if you'd like to as well, don't forget to join my Discord, link is in the description down below. There you can find a local community for Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5 and a whole lot more. I'm very active on there, so it's a way of talking to me as well, and it'd be greatly appreciated if you could join. Now thank you all for watching this video, and thank you for your support, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!